people might be asking themselves, why don't people just eat less? <laughs> why do they need surgery to get thinner? And often our folks say that when they come in. They have family members or relatives who are very anxious about them having surgery, which is understandable. And they'll hear that, uh, you know, can't you just get moving more? But for the most part, these people have done that in their lives. They've come in after having tried, you know, Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig or their own diets or whatnot. And they haven't been successful. They might have thought they were during the period of the diet, but anybody can lose weight during a diet. It's whether it can become a lifestyle, and often uh, that is impossible. So they've, they've tried, and they've often lost and gained hundreds of pounds over the years before they get to us. So, and it's complicated. You know, it's, there, there's definitely more to this whole process that we're all still finding out about appetite regulators and, you know, then the genetic components. So it isn't as easy as just saying, you know, move more and eat less. I think what the surgery does is helps level the playing field for these people. It gives them a tool that they can put in place to use to do those things then, to, to help get some of that weight off. So now, okay, I'm really on track here. Now some of this weight is off. I feel more energy. I can get out and move. And it helps tame the appetite in a sense because of um, the, the surgery. Again, reasons we're not quite clear about, but it does help keep the appetite down so they're better able to really decide, you know, what am I going to choose? What's going to nourish my body versus sometimes having the external factors sort of influence. Um, so there's a lot of things that, that play into it and, it, you know, we'd love to say the same thing. It's just, you know, get that weight off. But the facts are that when you have a hundred or more pounds to lose, it's the success rate of trying to do this on your own is really low. Um, people can, you know, 95% can go on diets, but you know, you're not gonna, you're gonna see that regain, you know, the, the weight come back and it's all the more difficult the next time to lose the weight. So, um, so that's, you know, it's, it's tricky. It's tough for folks to hear that, nor are they taking the easy way out, which is um, something that comes up. And after they've had it, it's like, oh, well, you, t you had the surgery, so you went the easy way. It's mm -hmm. not easy because mm -hmm. they have to take the same steps that you or I do every day in mm -hmm. trying to stay healthy. You've got to think about how you're going to get some exercise in, what food choices are you going to make. And not every day is going to be perfect. We don't, you know, nobody's perfect. <laughs> I'm not. But, you know, most days you have to make decent choices. And uh, so it's not, it's not easy for this folks. It's, it is a big step, really, to, to proceed with the surgery.